What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today I wanted to talk about Therians. Now, you might have seen this little funny symbol on, you know, Twitter or another few other platforms next to people's names. And actually, this symbol is combined into this one. And it's so cool. And I love the symbolism there, but it means they're a Therian. Therians believe that there is a spirit of an animal living with inside of them. And whether or not this is some kind of profound, deep belief, where it's like, yeah, I am an animal, versus a kind of spiritual ideology, they both have the same root of, here's an animal that I like and I find I identify with, and here is, you know, me trying to live the way that animal would. And I think that's huge from anyone who grabs just a persona that represents themselves. While they might not call themselves Therian, you don't pick a character to represent yourself without thinking a bit about the animal. For example, people who pick something like songbirds, they may be singers themselves. Or people who pick wolves may be calm and collected and very, you know, kind of stoic in that way. Or someone who picks a coyote like myself, maybe someone who's more cunning and crafty. You know, you, you can find these animals and you can figure out what they do in nature and kind of apply that to your own life. And I think as you explore this in a more spiritual context versus just, hey, it's my furry character, you start to realize that you can build yourself up based on these animal traits. And I think everyone has an animal that they can closely identify with that'll help them become the people that they wanna be. And so as you find this animal, one, that's just a spiritual journey in and of itself. Even if you don't really think it, you know, trying to look at all the animals that exist and being like, that one, that one represents me the most is a huge t undertaking. And I find so many people who their fursona species really coincides with who they are as people. And I think that more people you know, whether or not they're Therian or whether or not they're even furry, can find an animal that represents them super well. You know, years ago, I picked the coyote as the species that I felt represented me. The people who already were coyotes were people I felt like I could relate to better. And as I learn more about coyotes, the more I find, hey, that's, that's, that's very much like me. Or I find things that it was like, hey, that's very much, you know, what I want, what I want to be. As I, as I learn more about coyotes, the way they live out in the wild, um, one of the things that I've been fascinated about is like city coyotes and how they, you know, kind of intermingle within the urban areas while still keeping, you know, while still just being an animal. That They're fending for themselves in these places where it doesn't seem, you know, friendly to that kind of, uh, to animals like that. And so a lot of times I feel like, you know, I'm lost in this big world of just so many human things and, ah, oh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, all of it is so much all the time when you can just sit down and be an animal for a little while and just watch the cars drive by, you start to take a note of like, what is my purpose? And you start to let go of all these overthinking thoughts and start to just live in the moment as if an animal would. Because it's not like when a dog sees a ball, they're like, man, that is such a pretty shade of red and its roundness is so perfectly round and the texture of it just feels so good. No, a dog's just like, oh, ball? I want ball. Ball! And it's so fun. And, it, and it, you, you completely ignore any of the like downsides overall, especially when they're super, super meaningless downsides. And you just enjoy things for what they are. And I think that that's why so many people are turning to being a Therian, is because it lets you let go of all of these overstimulating things and all this overthinking that you do when you live in a, in a world this chaotic. We're not something special. We're just animals that got, that think too too much, really. As we reach that core of our being, we start to realize what we can do to make ourselves happy, as well as make ourselves feel satisfied and enjoy things more. 
And that, I think, is the core of what being a Therian is, is finding that animal within yourself. And I think anyone can do it, whether you call yourself a Therian or even call yourself a furry. If you look at all the animals you could be and you pick one based on, you know, characteristics that you see in yourself as well as characteristics you wish you could improve on, you start to find that the animal you pick can help you on your path in life. And that's how I've been, is every time I, I put on the fursuit and every time I think more coyote thoughts, I start to find that things in my life go better. I don't know. I hope, I hope that like you understand Therians a bit more. I hope that you start maybe thinking of what animal you might want to be. Um, if, if you'd like, leave a comment about, you know, what your species is and leave some traits on like why you think that animal uh, uh, expresses you the best because I, I'm pretty, in a, I'm in a bubble, you know, I'm stuck in the coyote world. And that's very different than something like the avian world where birds exist, or even there's like sea creatures. There's plenty of dolphins and shark personas too. And I feel like all these people, you know, with their different characters have a deeper connection than sometimes they might not even realize. So, that's Therians for a quick crash course. I want to make a bigger, more better video in the future, but for now, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye! Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart all the way to the top. Thank you so much for all the support on my last video. Life has been super stressful and getting all these good wishes means more than you could possibly imagine.